welcome back to another video here at Power Pivot Pro. My name is Reed Havens, and I'm one of the principal consultants here, as well as the blog editor and the owner and founder of Havens Consulting. And today I'm here to talk to you about a really cool feature in Power BI called uh, real-time dashboards. And I want to show you how to go through the process of using something called Microsoft Forms to create these really cool ways to input data that can then be translated real-time into data into a Power BI dashboard. So as we've seen in some of our other videos, and maybe just in the times that you've used it yourself, Power BI is an awesome tool for reporting, for visualization, and bringing data in. And I know there's things like direct query and other stuff that allows you to maintain a, a relatively live connection against a database, but wouldn't it be really cool if you could have a way to immediately input data and have it instantly show up in your dashboard within a matter of seconds? And I wanna show you an easy way to do that using this great tool called Microsoft Forms. Now, Microsoft Forms is a tool that Power BI, or I should say uh, Microsoft Office has built into the Office suite that lets you create some forms with questions that then can immediately grab that data and throw it against or throw it into the um, Power BI dashboard or report using uh, another tool called Microsoft Flow. Now, I want to walk us through that eventually, but before we do that, I want to first show you what that can look like. So I have over here on the left a dashboard that I've made in Power BI. And over on the right, I also have a form that I've made as well that has all of the, the questions that I've uh, created. So let's run through this and see what that would look like. So when's your birthday? You know what? I'm going to say that I was born in 1958 on May 15th. What's your favorite number between 1 and 20? You know what? Today, my favorite number is 17. How cool is Power Pivot Pro? Power Pivot Pro is awesome, so I'm going to give them a five star. Can I even? You know what? Today I can't. I cannot. I cannot even. My favorite cereal is peanut butter puffs. Rank these reporting tools. Let's see. Uh, Power BI, desktop, MicroStrategy, click. You know what? I'll, I'll, put, uh, I'll put Tableau number two. There we go. And hit submit. All right. Form was submitted. And let's take a look at this dashboard over here. And in a couple of seconds, it's going to populate some data onto here. There we go. Perfect. Instantly got the data in, and it appeared on my dashboard just within maybe five, seven seconds or so, and populated right into it. And all of these things just changed based off of that data that I put in. It's a really cool way to have those connected. Now, of course, the, the amount of time that I took to set up both the questions and then the dashboard took a little bit, but I want to give you the tools to be able to do this and then start building them out from, um, from there. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're actually going to do is create a data set directly in the PowerBI.com service. This isn't going to be created in Power BI Desktop or anywhere else. It has to be created in the Power BI service. So whether or not you're in your personal workspace or any of your company workspaces, what you'd want to do is not navigate to dashboards, reports, or workbooks. You want to go over here to, uh, to data sets. Yeah, you can see that I don't have any in here yet. So let's go ahead and create one. So I'm going to navigate to the upper right. I'm going to select Create. I'm going to select streaming data set and then I have the option for API, Azure, or PubNub and I'm going to select API. So, all right, hit new data set. Let's come up with some cool names. So real time data is awesome. Perfect. And I'm going to do a couple of uh, value types. There, as you can see in here, values from stream, we can do text, number, or date time. So I'll do a number first, call this a number. Next will be text. Just going to call this text and the last one let's do date time and I'm going to call this date and uh, I'm going to turn historic analysis off because what that means is that it's going to keep the data as well that's historical and I forget the exact number but there's a few thousand rows if I remember correctly that's allowed to be stored before it starts to overwrite the last row um, but either way this allows us to keep a historical trend and not to show whatever current data is going in there so I'm going to hit create There we are, and it created that new data set for us. And I'm going to hit done. Perfect. And that'll be our first step. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new form using the Microsoft Forms tool. Now, this is a preview um, app that's part of the Office suite, but it's really nice because it lets you create forms or quizzes or all sorts of stuff to collect data, send to clients, send to users, and get information that can be restricted by data type. It can have questions that conditionally show up based off of other answers, all sorts of really great stuff. Now, it's important to note that you can also create a form inside of an Excel file and attach it to that using SharePoint or something. And if you do that, 
that won't let you connect to a real-time data set. The form has to be created directly in the Microsoft Forms um, interface here. So I'm going to start and go to new form. I'm just going to call this real time data is fun. And let's add three of those uh, questions like we had with our data types. We're going to do a number, a text, and a date. So the first one is going to be, you know what? When, uh, how old are you? Actually, you know what? What is your favorite number? I'm going to require that one. I'm going to go to here and say restrictions. Restrictions a number. All right. Question two. Do that as a text. Who's your favorite movie star? Required, yes. That's fine. And finally, let's uh, do another text. Oop. Actually, I want to do date. There we go. And uh, when when's your birthday? Question mark. All right. Good to go. That information's in here. I'm going to set that to preview so we can come and actually type that in in a minute. And that will be it for creating this form. All right. Now, the next step that I want to do is go ahead and use this tool called Microsoft Flow to create something that connect our, our pieces of the puzzles together. Now, Microsoft Flow, if you haven't used it, is something very similar to kind of if this, then that, or IFTTT. It's a, it's a thing that really takes an event or a trigger, something happens, and then it does a reaction. So today is Monday. Send me an email saying to put in my timesheet. Or the, uh, it rained outside, so let me, or it's going to rain, so let me know of the weather changes. Like pretty much thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of types of actions and reactions can be specified with this. It's a, it's a really amazing tool. And I honestly haven't used it as much as I could or should. Um, but the one that I'm going to do in here is I'm going to create an event where it's going to look for any new time a form is submitted. It's going to grab the data from there, and it's going to write it to a real-time database. So let's start from creating blank up here at the top. Create a blank, and I'm going to create a new flow. I'm going to search for forms, Microsoft Forms. There's Microsoft Forms there. That's the trigger, so whenever a new response is submitted, that will be the trigger for this flow. And I'm going to look for my real-time data is fun. And now I'm going to add a new step, another action. And I'm going to look for forms again. There we are. And I'm also wanting to, as an action, get the response details from that form that was just submitted. Same data set. I'm going to cheat a little bit here, and I actually have some code that I'm going to use. I'm going to head and uh, grab the expression. There we are. And I'm going to paste it right into this expression, and I'm going to hit OK. And again, I'm I'm not somebody who knows how to write the code specifically. I was able to borrow this from a micro, from a, a Power BI user form, but this code here is essentially going to grab that information out of it. That way, it can be written to the Power BI data set. You don't, you know, to use that analogy again, you don't know, how, no, do not need to know how to build the car to know how to drive it. So hit OK. There we are, and that's the only little bit of custom code you're doing in here. So now I'm going to do a new step. And I'm not going to do action or condition. I'm going to go to more and then say apply to each right here. Add an apply to each step. Click that. And my output is now there's the list of response notifications. So that is the information coming from the, uh, the form that was just filled out. So it goes here. And then there's going to be add an action. And now I'm going to look for Power BI. Power BI, add rows to a data set. Now what workspace? I'm going to go to my workspace. I'm going to go to real-time data is awesome. I'm going to go to the, come on, real-time data table. And then this last part's nice and easy. Look, there's the three columns. There's my number, my text, and my date column. And my answers that go into here, it automatically shows it up. You see that dynamic content over here? There's my response details. So, and my number is going to go, what's my favorite number? My text is going to be, who's my favorite movie star? And my date will be, when's your birthday? So there's everything else automatically filled in through this, a bunch of mouse clicks. The only code that I wrote was that response ID up here at the top. And I'll just, I'm going to select save flow. And actually, let's, uh, let's go ahead and 
update that title called uh, real time data flow. There we are. Save flow. Easy as that. And that step is now done. All right, we're getting close to the end now. So now that we have our data, we have or we have our data set, we have the ability to put data in, and we have that uh, Microsoft Flow to connect both of them. Now let's connect a brand new empty Power BI desktop file to the um, that data set and be able to pull the data in. So I'm going to go up here to get data, and I'm going to connect to the Power BI service. There we are. I'm going to go to my workspace. Real-time data is awesome. I'm going to hit load. There we go. Some stuff's going to populate in here. Now, I've already put a couple of things in the form to test it, but let's go ahead and throw this out here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab date, number, text, and just put that into a table. And there's a few entries that I have in here, and let's do a couple more. So. I'm going to go up to preview, put some data in. So favorite number, six. Movie star, you know what? It's um, uh, Billy West. And then birthday, you know, today I was born all the way back in 1926. I'm going to hit submit. Let me make this text a little bit bigger. See if that works. There we go, and make that a bit bigger. Now in Power BI Desktop, it's not going to instantly pull in because it's a bit of a development environment. It's going to look a lot cooler on in the dashboard. But let me just quickly hit that refresh button at the top. There we go. New information in here. Just uh, you know, go ahead and throw a couple of other things and another couple of visuals up here. Let's do a chart, and I'll do that. Uh, oh, there we go. Get rid of that. Information's nice and spread out there, you know. So let's let's do something a little bit better. Here we are. Information here. Let's do a couple of others. I'm going to go ahead and do a one of those, and maybe one more for good measure. There we are. The line as well to go into it. Just just some quick quick and dirty visuals. Okay, and I'll do one more. Uh, 45. You know that's too too tall. 20, 22. Movie star is. Um, and actually, let's do Jean Jean Claude Van Dam. There we are. Probably not how you spell it, but close enough. Another birthday. Put that information in here. 98 or 88. Hit submit. Nope. There we go. Give that bad boy a refresh. Boop. Data shows right up. All right. Now let's actually um, finish wrapping up here. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and publish this online. So I'm going to hit publish, save changes, call this a real time test. There we are. And now it's published onto powerbi.com. All right, now we're finally back to the, one of the last legs of our journey. We're going to be able to see how this works and functions in the PowerBI.com environment. Because it was kind of sort of real time, but not like no, nothing super wow factory yet. So that report that I just published is sitting over here under real time test. Now let's go ahead and make a dashboard out of this too. So I'm going to pin, I'm going to pin each of these to my dashboard up here. Create a real time dashboard there. Pin you, pin you, pin you and pin you. Anyway, that's that's pretty good. Just uh, just some information up here. So I got my information in here. Now I could switch back to this and go ahead and like put in my data and come back to here. But there's a really cool thing that also comes with Microsoft Forms. You can embed them. So check this out. You come over here, go up to share, and you can have the option to share by link. Interestingly enough, you could share by QR code too. There's also a third option called embed. So I'm going to copy this code and watch what I do with it. I'm going to come over here to my real-time dashboard. I'm going to go up to the, da to the dashboard itself for Power BI and hit add tile. And I'm going to use something called add web content. And I'm going to hit next. 
there's an option right here, embed code. Just paste it right into there. I'm going to actually increase that resolution there for the, um, the height a little bit. I'm going to hit apply. And look at that. There's a tile. Ooh, come on. There we are. With that data in it. Now it uh, gets a little glitchy sometimes. Let me refresh the page to get it to load, maybe. There we go. All right, now let's watch this information change. I need a number. How about uh, 25, uh, movie star, you know what, let's say um, uh, Fred Astaire. Birthday, 96, April 17th, hit submit. Let's watch this data populate and change as soon as I touch that. Look at that instantly. Within a few seconds, new data came right in. So it's really cool and I didn't even have to leave this page. I can use the form right here. Just like we saw in that other dashboard that I created here and kind of that more polished one. Uh, if I look at this one here, I created this thing with the form built right into it for Power Pivot Pro. And you can do all sorts of stuff, you know, really it's the um, sky's the limit when it comes to that. And the, kind of the last thing that I'll mention as well is the one thing that you are limited to is you are limited to one table with the, the real time streaming data sets. Uh, you can't really go in and add a bunch of custom tables. There is ways to, uh, to you can add as many columns as you want in any kind of custom DAX you do. But as long as it's going to be real time and streaming, you are kind of fixed into that one table view. Um, but there's still a lot of really great things you can do with it to get real time feedback um, from just whoever is going to be the participant in it. So again, thank you for your time and I will see you in the next video.